In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Mother, brothers, and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear in kindness, O Lord, the prayers of your people, that those who rejoice at the coming of your only begotten Son in our flesh May, when at last he comes in glory, gain the reward of eternal life. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will re rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks. A responsorial psalm. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp, with the ten string lyre chant his praises. Sing to him a new song. Pluck the strings skillfully with shouts of gladness. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For him our hearts rejoice, in his holy name we trust. Exalt you just in the Lord, sing to him a new song. Alleluia, alleluia. O oh, Emmanuel, our King and Giver of Law, come to save us, Lord our God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Glory to you, Mary set out in those days and traveled to the hill country in haste, the town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leapt in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greetings reached my ears, the infant in my womb leapt for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Last Monday, the Gospel was about the Annunciation to Zechariah about the birth of their son. And then yesterday, we had the Annunciation of the angel to the Blessed Mother about the birth of the Lord. Immediately after, you know, all these things happened, uh, Elizabeth and the Blessed Mother, both first-time mothers, were both excited about the news. Elizabeth, she was, as the Gospel uh, mentioned, she was rather advanced in age, so we don't know exactly how old she was, but uh, apparently at that age that it was at probably at that point, at that time, um, before the adv advance of science and medicine, 
um, it would have been impossible for her to uh, have a baby. But she did. And the thrill and at the same time that doubt and unbelief, how could this happen? But she was thrilled to be a mother nonetheless. And yesterday's gospel, the Blessed Mother was told by the angel that, remember your cousin Elizabeth? She is also having a baby. Because nothing is impossible with God. And then the gospel today says, immediately, immediately in haste, the Blessed Mother visited her cousin Elizabeth. We can uh, speculate exactly the reasons why she traveled in haste, probably uh, to share the excitement that she is having a baby. <clears throat> Maybe also she wanted to verify if her older cousin Elizabeth is really having a baby. But there was the joy. Or as uh, gospel commentators would say, the Blessed Mother being young, and knowing that her cousin Elizabeth, being old, is having a baby, she felt that need to serve her cousin Elizabeth. And we know in the gospel that the Blessed Mother stayed with Elizabeth for six months. In other words, until John the Baptist was born. She was there to take care of her cousin who was rather advanced in age having a baby. And I think this is, uh, this is the power of the story. It's not really so much of the mothers, Elizabeth and the Blessed Mother, being excited about their pregnancies, but <clears throat> in the gospel today, immediately after the Blessed Mother appears, the gospel says, the infant in the womb of Elizabeth leapt for joy. This is not only about Elizabeth and Mary being happy about their pregnancies. This is also about the children, John the Baptist and the Lord. Because even at that early stage, John the Baptist already recognized the Lord. He left for joy. To the point that, the, that Elizabeth said, you are blessed among women. How could this happen to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? Elizabeth recognized that Mary was carrying the Son of God. The joy of the two mothers, but the joy of the two sons. <laughs> One thing also I want to um, point out is at the core of uh, the life of the Lord was always that act of love and service. I have come to serve, not to be served. And John the Baptist's role, remember at some point he said, he is the Lamb of God, pointing to the Lord and said, he must increase, I must decrease. It's all about the concept of the joy of being able to serve. Bringing the joy of God to others in the way we serve. And I think this is, um, this is the power of the story because it, it challenges us once again, uh, a few days before Christmas, of what Christmas is really all about. It is really the joy of announcing a happy good news. You know, some people take pride and take joy in spreading hate and sp spreading falsity and spreading division. Today, the gospel says the greatest joy, one of the greatest joys we could ever have is really spreading the joy and happiness to others. Not hatred, not division, but spreading the joy. And what could be any other greater joy than bringing the joy of God to others, bringing God to others. Hopefully, this Christmas, as we bring Christ to others, people would experience that same leap of joy as St. John the Baptist had when we bring 
God to others. When we become the opportunities and occasions of others to experience God, may they always experience that great leap of joy through us. May Christmas be an opportunity for many people. We know that uh, for so many people today, Christmas would still be an occasion of grief and sorrow and sadness because of war, because of division, because of hatred in so many places. So many children abandoned, so many families going through difficult times. Christmas would still be a very challenging experience for them to celebrate the joy. But we can make a difference. We can, in, in, in very simple, probably little ways that we can, let us bring this joy to others. Let us bring this Christ to others. And let us allow others to experience what it means to be God among us. We are the presence of God in the lives of others. <clears throat> Let us return to our loving Father with our prayers and petitions. We pray for God's holy church. May the Lord guard and strengthen each one of us, his servants. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for local and national leaders. May God guide them in creating policies that protect the most vulnerable in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all <clears throat> expecting parents and their unborn children. May God grant them strength and good health as a new child enters the world. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for this faith community gathered here today. May God grant us hearts full of joy in welcoming the Christ child into our midst. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died. May they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. And today, we pray in a very special way for Ilan Griffig and for the intentions of Amparo Monsalve from this Mass is offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for all of us gathered today, for ourselves, for those who ask for our prayers, those who we promise to pray for, we pray for uh, members of our families and our loved ones who are ill, may the Lord restore them to full health. We pray for families again who are going through difficult times. May the Lord, in his great mercy, grant them the experience of joy this Christmas season. And for everyone celebrating this Eucharist with us all over the world, we join with you in prayers as well. And for all the intentions, we hold you in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God of compassion, we lift these prayers to you and entrust our needs to your gracious care. We ask this through Christ, O Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God. Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all 
Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ, O Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, and due to our salvation, I was never where to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ, O Lord. For all the oracles that the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the foundable holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jews fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullest of charity together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We merit to be co-heirs with eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teachings, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of your church. I graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, your and let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> now
Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to give you the of my life, but only say the word and my soul Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, may participation in this divine mystery provide enduring protection for your people, so that being subject to your glorious majesty in dedicated service, they may know abundant health in mind and body. Through Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with and the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. How beautiful. Thank you. Thank <clears throat> you.